Hi everyone, welcome to managing.net microservice API with Apache API 6 video tutorial. My name is Babur, I am a developer advocate. In today's video, we are going to talk about API Gateway and specifically using Apache API 6 for the applications developed in ASP.NET. I will show you, provide you uh, an easy example of uh, deploying multiple API 6 related components using Docker Compose. And I'm going to show you how to configure routing for the API and uh, enabling a traffic management plugin throughout the demo session. So with that plan, let's get started. In today's world, we usually create multiple microservices for a particular product. And for each of these services, uh, we'll have a different endpoint accessing these services from the external world. And it doesn't make sense. Exposing multiple URLs, we should have a single entry point to all our services. And based on different passes, we should be doing the routing. API Gateway is a, is a central point for routing all incoming requests to their intended destination, whether that can be upstream API server or third party service database or even serverless. Basically, it acts as a single layer between your user clients and your backend services. In many microservices scenarios, authentication, security, observability, caching, transformation are handled centrally. Without an API gateway in place, you might uh, typically implement these concerns uh, for each service because maintaining them for each service would be a very challenging task and time consuming. Uh, at the same time, you can get a benefit of an API gateway in uh, reducing complexity, delivering a, a high performance for your APIs and it helps you to scale your microservices. The API Gateway topic could easily carry many video tutorials, but this time I focus on the most common features like routing and rate limiting for our example .NET project on GitHub. What we do today, uh, we are going to clone a demo project called API6.NET Docker from my uh, GitHub repo. And to understand the structure of the project, uh, we we'll walk through the Docker Compose YAML file and we're going to build the Mount Container API 6 via Docker CLI and uh, we're going to configure API 6 uh, routing for our ESP.NET API. And that's the end, uh, I will show you how to enable traffic management plugin. Here are some of the prerequisites uh, to successfully work with, uh, with a project, example project. And uh, for demonstration, we're going to use uh, .NET 6 SDK. Uh, you can use Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio uh, 2020 It's uh, up to your preferences. Uh, in my case, I'm using VS Code. So and, uh, make sure that Docker Desktop also install it on your local machine. In my case, I'm using Windows operating system. You can also find this uh, how to install uh, uh, instruction on the GitHub page or the blog post. Uh, here's the uh, link uh, to GitHub uh, project. I have api6.net docker. I'm leaving out uh, all the links and references out there on the, the YouTube description. And you can also find the uh, blog post version of this project uh, in the same link list. Uh, so what we do now, uh, we can just simply use a git clone to clone the repository and go to root uh, directory of api6.net docker uh, you can open the project in your favorite uh, code editor i use the vs code you will see the following project uh, structure let's understand the structure of the project uh, uh, you hear the list of uh, main components you can uh, take a look uh, uh, let's say api6 config files and we have a YAML file. Uh, all the services are configured by uh, mounting uh, uh, configuration files in the in the project on the Docker containers uh, through the, this config YAML. It defines just the configs for API 6, uh, which plugins you're gonna use uh, and which uh, ports uh, and which admin key uh, you will have and etc. Uh, similarly, 
uh, we have etct uh, dashboard config and uh, or api6 config grafana config if you are going to use uh, grafana config uh, if you are would like to integrate the prometheus you can also uh, customize the prometheus config yaml file and uh, you can see also uh, the api6 log folder where our, uh, API 6, uh, it uh, generates some logs uh, based on the request that we are doing against uh, API 6 admin API and also some errors you can see out. Uh, but uh, the main uh, the folder we're gonna fax today is uh, a product API uh, that we have now. If you look at the uh, folder structure, we do have uh, controller class, a simple controller class with only single uh, get at point uh, which just uh, retrieves a list of products from the i product service and we have a domain uh, for the product uh, with uh, basically with the name and its price uh, also we do have some uh, services and also a docker file uh, under the product api project uh, but it's, it has just a standard uh, docker file structure this file is responsible for pulling .NET 6 SDK because we are using for this project .NET 6 and uh, ESP.NET 6 uh, images uh, will be pulled from docker registry and we're gonna build and run uh, the application with the following docker images if you go a little up to the root project, we have another main file, Docker Compose YAML. Uh, we have some components uh, shown here. Let's say uh, if you're going to use uh, API 6 dashboard, you can also specify uh, an API 6 dashboard will be available on port 9000. That's just a die dashboard that offers another way to interact with the API 6 admin API. And uh, also we have the main uh, API 6 here, the image. Uh, that uh, we are saying docker to bring uh, and also we have etcd configuration because api6 uses etcd to save and synchronize, synchronize the configuration uh, this is promoters and grafana they are very optional uh, let's say if you would like to fetch metrics data about upstream apis uh, together with promoters plugins you can use them uh, or, and here the final we have the product api uh, image it's search for docker file under a product api folder and uh, when you do docker compose up uh, it uh, it will map and run the product api on this port 55555 uh, five, 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 five. Uh, you may also notice that all the services map it to the api 6 network uh, and because uh, when you do uh, this routing and uh, using API 6, it's a preferable way to uh, use them inside the one network. Now we can go to terminal and uh, start our application by running uh, docker compose up, my, maybe the minus t daemon uh, and the root folder of the project. If I do press enter, uh, as you can see, uh, some running container list I have available. Uh, this also you can see by running docker compose ps command uh, say docker compose uh, ps uh, you can see it's also available uh, the containers up and running I have also the docker desktop installed as a prerequisite uh, for this video tutorial as you can see uh, this uh, container is up and running like a dashboard api 6 and product api uh, for example uh, if you navigate to uh, slash api uh, uh, products to the local host uh, uh, 5555 now you can see also uh, the uh, API uh, responding to our requests here with only uh, two uh, products uh, list is coming up uh, from the backend service uh, also for example you can see uh, uh, the dashboard the basic dashboard up and running on uh, local host uh, 9000 uh, if you would like to play with CPI 6 dashboard, there are some other video tutorials I have, uh, and also you can uh, read more information on the API CPI 6 documentation. So now we have uh, all good, uh, uh, our containers up and running. Next, we can try to configure API 6 API Gateway. Now, when you set up Apache API 6 API Gateway for your APIs, uh, it adds many capabilities, including, uh, as we mentioned earlier, routing, 
and uh, or rate limiting that uh, in our case we can create a route uh, and configure underlying upstream uh, when Apache PS receives uh, requests uh, uh, from uh, uh, let's say outside the world uh, to the slash API slash products endpoint uh, it will forward uh, to the uh, underlying upstream in our case product API so let's uh, start uh, 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 to start with adding a route and upstream for this uh, slash API slash products endpoint uh, the following command uh, creates a sample route together with uh, an upstream you can read more about uh, how to uh, create uh, the road or upstream and the uh, passive documentation and how to also map them together I will run this kernel command uh, by accessing a passive admin API uh, securely if I press enter now I will get the response from API 6 that's all good and uh, now we have uh, this upstream as a product API uh, configured that serves for uh, this URI uh, we can check that if uh, API 6 should forward the request to our target API when we uh, try to access uh, slash API slash products with this uh, kernel of common. There you go. Yes. Uh, it actually does. You can see the output. Uh, it's routing to the product API endpoint and this uh, response is coming from product service. Uh, and uh, also you can also add uh, two or more routes as we did above if uh, to your API gateway let's say uh, one can serve for your uh, product API the another one for customer microservices maybe with a URL pass uh, slash API slash customers and stuff slash products next uh, we can try to enable uh, one of the traffic management plugin or uh, with the help of uh, API Gateway, let's say we can set uh, automatic retries, timeouts, circuit breakers, and rate limiting for our external upstream API or microservice, in our case, our product API. Uh, and uh, let's say rate limiting is also a strategy for limiting network uh, traffic. Uh, it should be <coughs> under uh, the traffic management uh, plugins uh, on API 6 website. It's also, uh, let's say, take a look, for example, limit count. Uh, limit count plugin uh, also able to limit requests rate by uh, fixed number of requests uh, in the given time window uh, we can try to enable this uh, limit count plugin for our slash products api uh, to do so uh, we can uh, run the following command the example of comments you can find uh, from the blog post uh, you can just uh, copy or paste or customize these uh, configs or kernel commands uh, by itself uh, and here as you can see if you're uh, setting the same URA uh, uh, product API pass and uh, and for any given get request is we are enabling a limit count plugin uh, in that case uh, this below configuration limits the number of requests to only twice in 60 seconds and API 6 will handle the first two requests and as, as usual but the sort request is in the same period we return uh, 403 HTTP code if I run this command uh, by pressing enter uh, API 6 says ok uh, and now this uh, limit count plugin enabled uh, for, our, for our endpoint uh, we can test it uh, let's say I'm going to call this uh, API uh, a couple of times like it's three times when you call the first time within six seconds it's okay when you call the second time it's also fine when you call the third time uh, within the same period you see we got uh, the error uh, by saying uh, request you're requesting your API too frequent uh, please try later again uh, with a uh, HTTP 403 forbidden error uh, that's cool right uh, after reaching this uh, three uh, three hold uh, uh, the subsequent requests are not allowed by the API 6 so we made the use of uh, Apache API 6 uh, docker compose example and this is my repo project uh, also a little customized from Apache API 6 docker project it's very f uh, active and frequently updated you can also uh, take this example you know, project and uh, a little modernize and add your customized configuration on the top of Docker Compose file. 
Uh, as you can see today, uh, we are able to deploy several components in one run and we demonstrated how the API Gateway can be used to manage a simple ESP.NET uh, application and uh, uh, to retrieve the let's say, product data using a product microservice API. Also, you learned how to enable limit count plugin uh, for the endpoint. There are many other built-in plugins available uh, in the Apache API 6 uh, website. You can find them under the plugin hub page. Uh, basically, API 6 can be uh, the lightweight middleware API gateway, regardless of which programming language, uh, frameworks, tools, or platforms you are developing uh, for your microservices or application. Uh, 